In this video, we review the probability tree diagram to solve a question involving probability. In this context, Rashid is driving a car through a city through two sets of lights, set one and set two, and we're asked to complete, first of all, the tree diagram. So, if the first set have a chance of red of being 0.6, then the probability of not being red must be 0. 4. 6 out of 10 chance of being red, 4 out of 10 chance of not being red. Now, if the first set is red, then the chance of not being red is 0.7, so the chance of being red has got to be 0.3. However, if the first set is not red, the chance of the second set are not red is 0.2, so the chance of being red must be 0.8. Each pair of brackets adds up to the whole 1. And in this context, for whatever reason, if the first set is red or the first set is not red, the decimals are different in this context. What I then also do is, by preference, is I calculate the probabilities of each of the events happening. So, the probability of red and then red is 0.6 times 0.3. We multiply the decimals down the tree diagram. That is 0.18. Probability of red and then not red is 0.6 times 0.7, which is 0.42. The probability of not red and then red is 0 0.4 times 0 0.8, which is 0 0.32. And finally, the probability of not red and then not red is 0.4 times 0.2, which is 0 0.08. Each of these numbers here should add to make the whole one, and it's always worth checking that. In this case, they do. So that's the tree diagram completed. There's then four questions to answer of increasing complexity. So partly, what is the probability that the first set is not red? Or the first set not red is just 0.4. Part C, a bit of language to read carefully, given the first set is red. So given the first set is red, what is the probability that the second is not red? Well, first set red, second not red, it's just that number there. It's just 0 0.7. It's DNA where we then use the calculations we've done on the tree diagram. This is where I find doing the calculations first is of great benefit. Because part D says find the probability that both sets are not red. Well, both sets, set 1, set 2, not red, is just this number down here. It's just 0 0.08. Nice, neat presentation of the answers. We then use the correct ones to answer the relevant question. And at part A, find the probability that at least one of the sets is not red. So let's look down. In these options, which one has got at least one set not red? Well, it's definitely a not red here. They're both not red. Again, there's a not red here. There's a not red here. This one is the only one which does not involve a not red. So I ignore this one. So to find the answer, I do 0.42 plus 0.32 plus 0.08. I add together the relevant numbers, which gives me 0.82. So the probability that at least one set is not red is 0.82. Just on the side, the other calculation is to do 1 minus the crossed off 1. Because 1 take away 0.18 is also 0.82.